so in the last uh, tutorial what we saw is uh, we looked into all the filtering mechanism now let us look into how we do uh, query and filter the sub documents so these are the this is going to be a little shorter video we are going to uh, look into what are the fields that we can filter using uh, sub documents uh, so the first uh, endpoint that we are going to look into is uh, get by contacts uh, within a particular city get uh, the contacts within a particular state get the contacts which is having a particular mobile number get the contacts which is uh, who are having a name and who uh, name starting like this and who are in the city so so let us uh, directly go into uh, what are we uh, uh, what are what are the repository methods uh, that we have so we've created a separate uh, contact query service uh, and a contact uh, uh, query repository uh, before we me going into the contact query repository let us revisit uh, the sub document modeling we have two sort of sub documents one is uh, uh, array of addresses and the next is phone number so we know address contains uh, all the standard set of fields uh, and the phone contains uh, uh, the mobile number secondary mobile number and the emergency contact number uh, this is uh, a continuation of what we left over there so let us go to the contact query service it contains four methods that we have we will be looking into it uh, so this is uh, first is find by city the second is find by mobile number the third is find by state uh, the fourth is find by name and city uh, so since these are sub document based queries uh, the the direct spring data jpa uh, methods might not help so what what i'm going to show a different way of uh, querying uh, we can we can always write custom queries in mongodb and then use that mongodb queries to filter it since it is going to be the sub documents uh, uh, so the address is in contact address dot city the city is in, uh, in the sub document called address and i'm saying that go and find uh, uh, all the documents uh, uh, with city name like starting like this uh, and this is the query and question mark zero means that is the first the parameter that we are passing if we, if we want to do pass multiple parameters uh, uh, that that value get incremented let's let's look into just uh, how it will look like z question mark zero and question mark one if we have to pass multiple uh, uh, parameters one two three based on the field names here this is a simple query uh, at query is the one which is going to uh, form the query uh, if we go into the application yaml we can have a particular setting where uh, it will log the mongodb query which is getting fired so we will be able to debug and see wha what is the setting that we have to do logging level org spring spring framework data mongodb core mongo template the log level has to be debug in production scenarios it, it would not be debug it would be info or error so during that time only it will log uh, don't use this setting uh, in the production environment uh, it is good to have uh, th uh, this in debug uh, debug value in development environment so that uh, it is easy for us to debug uh, the the queries are it will it will display the queries we can paste the query in the mongodb and cross verify the result uh, whether the mongodb and the rest uh, results are one and the same uh, so this is one change that we have done in the configuration and uh, i would repeat we any query will have a, a annotation with a creative that query and uh, with this we are going to do the sub document level fetches and then find by city uh, this is the repository class let's go to the contact query controller I have heard, uh, it is good to separate the the query side and the command side of it uh, it, it would say that uh, because uh, it can be separated to its separate uh, uh, endpoint as well so that that can be scaled uh, uh, differently for example contacts uh, are added and uh, updated less frequently and contacts are queried much faster uh, so it would be a clear separation of concern about the uh, command and query pattern it's called command query segregation uh, pattern uh, which will how it will help us it will help us to scale the query differently and the and the modification updates separately uh, so the, the intent of this tutorial is not to say that uh, uh, but uh, uh, as we look into a uh, way of building things it is better to just uh, analyze what and all fine tuning that we can do or what and all options which are available to make this application scalable i would i would uh, put all my uh, design thoughts also to the uh, to the viewers or the people who are following this so that they can think through all these kind of design uh, designing principles uh, 
how better I can design, how better I can scale uh, as as such as well. Although the intent of this tutorial is not uh, to explain you the system design concepts, I I would I am planning to come up with certain set of uh, uh, videos which are targeting set system design, system architecture. Uh, uh, but I think it is it is worth to mention it here. Um, so let us directly jump to the uh, controller part of it. Uh, uh, let me run this as well. Uh, yeah, let it run. Then we will go to Insomnia as is. Uh, we are going to find by city. Uh, find by city. Find by city is uh, contact city city. Find by contacts city and the path variable is. I know I have given Chennai one document. I think we have got one document in Chennai. I have two document in Bangalore. Two document, two contacts uh, who are uh, whose address is in Bangalore. Uh, so we have we have got it and, and this is working. And if you if you see, uh, I have told uh, that the the queries will be logged. Uh, this is the query address dot city equal to regex so whatever we are giving here uh, is, is coming like this so probably we can use this query and paste it there to verify in the mongodb whether it is working correct or not so we also use the address dot city regex uh, which starts with uh, bangalore so this is the exact uh, mongodb query we can we can go and just paste this query uh, here in mongodb uh, let's go to the command line uh, go up db dot com dot find come on paste it let me see uh, yeah, excellent so we have two documents okay it's a pretty okay uh, so we we have this Ganesh Kumar and uh, Krishna Kumar and that should be the result here Ganesh Kumar and the Krishna Kumar so the result uh, 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 we are able to cross verify the result with uh, uh, MongoDB as well uh, so let us uh, look into the next uh, uh, controller method uh, so the second method that we are looking into is uh, find by mobile which is a separate sub document uh, this uh, uh, sub document is available as part of phone and mobile and we are saying that uh, uh, have uh, ha, ha use this regex pattern which starts with so we have to you have to give uh, the number which uh, starts with this uh, you can write complex uh, uh, regular expressions uh, uh, which is in between uh, uh, so it, it is up to up to you uh, but for the simplicity for this tutorial i'm just giving you a regular expression which starts with uh, uh, so as as the as need comes we will be able to filter it based on whatever we think we have to find for example ending with also we can do uh, in between certain numbers are finding or not how many zeros are there based on how many ones are there get me all the mobile numbers which has five ones uh, continuously uh, four zeros separately five nine separately uh, all these kind of filters are possible based on the regular expression that we are going to write uh, uh, and uh, and it is up to the need uh, and the situation and now what am i doing is uh, uh, the beautiful thing that we have to uh, look into is uh, sort uh, so find all the mobile numbers and sort by uh, age uh, descending uh, i don't think two people will have the same mobile number uh, uh, but uh, but we can we can do that so we can filter all the documents uh, based on a particular criteria and sort by a different field and the intention of this uh, 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 endpoint is to show that uh, the sort need not be based on the same field it can be on a different field and it can be in whatever order we think of uh, 1 and minus 1, 1 means ascending, minus 1 means descending. So that's how, uh, that's how uh, uh, I, I, this is the, the intention of this uh, because the mobile number may start with 9, 1. So let me find, find by mobile, uh, find by name, find by get contact. I don't think I have it. Let me see in the controller, contact query controller, mobile is there. Let me check. Okay, I can see. Uh, and mobile, and then uh, and the city and 
paste this copy this paste this it is a uh, mobile now what is the mobile number that we have here i think i'll put 91 plus 91 i should get four let me see uh, i'll test it this okay invalid i said 91 swim because it has to start with let me let me find out how do we pass the plus so there was a small issue uh, uh, plus is a, uh, a character which is used in uh, uh, regular expression so i've just uh, deleted the documents and created with 91 which is the country code uh, so if we if we see uh, mongodb uh, dot find dot pretty we have four documents which are starting with uh, 91 as the phone number so let me see uh, find uh, the phone number so we get four phones uh, whose number starts with 91 and let me see 917 and uh, i should be able to get and if you see what is that i have started i have started based on the age descending so which is 42 35 30 and 25 is coming um so uh, i'll send this again i am i'm trying to find a phone number which starts with 91 and 7 uh, this is uh, uh, like this and if i remove this 91 hyphen and the other one is seven eight okay there is no common phone number which is so that i can sh sort and so but i think uh, we are able to get sort the phone num uh, for for result based on a different field that's what we have seen it here i put seven uh, and we are able to sort it based on the age uh, so let us look into the third uh, i'll fix that plus part how, how in, the, in the as part of the code uh, so let us look into the third method which is uh, find by state and let us go to the query repository what are we doing is find all the contacts who are residing in a particular state and uh, sort by their first name uh, what are we doing here address uh, uh, the state is in a field called address uh, uh, and the parameter is the first parameter the second is uh, uh, sort uh, and we are saying that sorting by first name ascending uh, so let us see if we have an endpoint find by city i don't have it contacts uh, state and uh, say karnataka i have two documents let me see is it running it is running find by state is it getting called getting called I go to the query controller uh, find by state states contacts slash contacts slash state and the state is k a r let me see get by state why it is it is not able to find let me see what is the state UTT. if this is not a let me pass the video and, and find okay let me pass the video uh, so uh, there was a small mistake which i have made uh, which uh, uh, i discovered is uh, i have not used regex i've used equals uh, so equals is not uh, working here so i've used regex uh, so that we can search by partial state which states with Uttarakhand we have a we have a, a, a contact who is in Uttarakhand we have a contact who is in Tamil Nadu uh, yes Tamil Nadu we have two contacts which are in Karnataka who are in Karnataka I think we have it and it is working and if you see this is sorted by first name G comes first and K comes second A B C D E F G H I J K so G and K are sorted uh, and that is the query that we have written i have changed it if you see sort by first name ascending uh, the last query that we are going to look into is uh, find by first name and uh, city uh, we can have sort as well once it, this runs i will alter this in life so you can see if it uh, so we have two contacts uh, uh, who are in city bangalore 
uh, let me see we have find my name and state uh, okay so we have uh, it's not name and state it's name and city we have a name uh, who, who is Krishna and then sitting uh, in in city Bangalore we have it uh, K let's say K we have one we have P and, and CD uh, K I think send K send P is capital check let me check what is the contact that we have address line one CD is Rudra R right uh, and name is P P and then it is R you get one so what are we doing here we are going to get the contact based on the first name and who lives in the city who starting with this so we we have it and i can give the bangalore and, and uh, what are the other contacts we can find it uh, Tamil Nadu we have found uh, yes and c i can give contacts name yes and c what is this yes is small yes yes is small better. yes we get satya bama and then and then uh, living in city chennai so that's what it is we can we can add uh, sort ordering filtering and all these things based on this uh, so so if uh, all the queries are logged here as well we can just take it and filter out and cross verify this will be really useful feature in uh, while we are doing development uh, don't forget to remove this because it is going to add uh, uh, add it to the these queries are going to get logged and it was going to push it to the log aggregator uh, which is considered as a, as a security breach in many companies because uh, we might be filtering it by any uh, personally identifiable data uh, don't have the settings keep uh, uh, remember this uh, but it is a very useful feature when we are uh, uh, doing development uh, we should be uh, logging uh, the, uh, the the query using which we will be able to debug and uh, and this is going to be a very short video and then we we, we looked into how do we uh, query based on the mongodb queries that we write and then uh, do sort uh, uh, based on the the fields that we have uh, thanks for your time. Let us look into the update and delete in, in the next uh, tutorial uh, and then we will also look into how do we use the Mongo template to do a query and then we can look into how to do uh, uh, other operations with MongoDB and the, and the Mongo template. Uh, thanks for your time. Uh, uh, until next uh, tutorial. Uh, uh, bye.